Mm, that was terrible. Hi guys, I'm Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a talks and tea video because it has been a hot minute since I've talked to any of you. I believe the last time I posted a video was November and the time before that was August. So we're looking at like six months or more at this point. So not so great on my part, but in you know the current world that we're living in with the intense quarantines and school cancellations, I find myself with a lot of time on my hands and I figured this was the perfect opportunity for me to do my best to get back into the swing of booktube and filming and editing and posting and engaging with all of you. I haven't even been watching YouTube, so I'm really out of the loop, but I'd really like to get back into it. I miss this uh, platform a lot. I miss making videos, I miss reading because I haven't been doing a lot of that in the last six months either so this is my attempt to get back into it because this platform does bring me a lot of joy and provides me with a creative outlet that is really good for me and it's not something that I am ready to walk away from so despite the fact that I've been gone for a while I never intended to be gone forever I just found myself adjusting to new life circumstances, new hours at work, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. If you've seen my last video, I mentioned a lot of those things. I won't talk about it again, but if I do repeat myself, apologies. It's been a while since I filmed that video, but if you guys are looking to have a chat with me to catch up, excuse me, that was weird, um, see me struggle through talking to a camera again, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, first things first. I am going to be really, really honest with you guys. I am very, very, very nervous to be filming this video right now. I just feel really, really out of the loop and out of practice and out of routine in regards to my channel for obvious reasons. It's been a while since I have posted and even just been watching booktube, even just reading on a regular basis. I'm definitely getting there now. It's happening, but I'm very nervous for the fact that I feel like I'm very out of the loop. Like I don't know what books are popular right now. I don't know what new books are coming out. I don't know who's enjoying what. I have no idea what's going on with the booktube prize. And I was so heavily involved last year that I just feel kind of out of sorts. So I am so nervous to be back, but very happy and excited to be back. But just bear with me while I get my feet back underneath me and please fill me in on anything that I missed, any books that you guys think I absolutely should know about because I'd love them or other people have been loving them or a new book that's gonna come out this year that you think I should know about. I just, I would love any feedback from you guys about things that I've missed that you think I should know about. And I just really feel like I'm starting over. I know that's not the case because I was thinking about this today and the fact that when I started my channel, I knew way less than I do now. And I just gotta get my feet underneath me again. So it's not as bad as my brain is making it out to be. So we're just gonna start by talking about books that I have been reading lately, which are just books on my shelves that maybe aren't, you know, the hot topic at the moment, but we're just gonna start there because that's where I started originally and it got me here. So it can't be too broken, but please fill me in where you can. I, like I said, I'd love to hear about everything that I've kind of missed on, missed out on in the last six months or so. Um, so I did just want to, you know, put that out there. I'm nervous, so apologies. I will do my best, but I do think I really, you know, with all this quarantine and everything and me not working because schools are closed, I will have the time to really create my channel to be a part of my routine again, to make it a part of my everyday life. And that is my goal because this platform brings me so much joy. My you know, interactions with all of you and the other creators are just really positive and great and I miss them so much because, you know, so many of these other, other creators feel like friends now and I just, I haven't talked to anybody in a while and I'm, I'm ready to change that. I'm ready for that to not be the case anymore. Um, and that being said, for any fellow creators or subscribers, if you guys are interested in doing a buddy read with me, I would absolutely love that. Like I said, I'm finally getting back into the swing of reading and, you know, just really getting back to my normal reading habits that I had six months ago before the school year had started. And, you know, buddy reads are a great, a great, they're great, <laughs> they all great, a great way to keep me accountable and me reading, especially while I'm trying to just 
figure this whole situation out again. So if any of you are interested in a buddy read, I don't know what book that would be, but please let me know. I'm totally open to suggestions or if we want to make a big group read out of it because, you know, there's a lot of people right now at home with a lot more time on their hands that maybe we just need to make it a big group happy get together and read a book. Um, so there is that. I did want to mention that. I'm also looking at notes. I don't think I mentioned that. I had a lot of things I wanted to chat with you guys about. Also, things that you can look forward to coming from me as far as videos go. I don't think I'm going to be filming a favorite books of 2019 video just because, I don't know, we're well and truly into March and it's spring already and that just seems like I just, I don't feel like doing that. So instead, I think what I'm going to do is just talk about some recent favorite reads. So it's kind of the same thing, but I'm not labeling them as 2019 or whatever. Maybe I read some of them within the last few months. I don't know. But just some books that I think are worth highlighting and books that I loved that I'm sure some of you will have heard my opinions of before because I promise you there are booktube prize picks on there and talk about being out of the loop, no idea what's going on there. I don't even know any of the books on the on on the long list. So, you know, let me know. Fill me in. Help me out here, guys. So you can definitely look out for that, though. Some recent reads that I have just really, really enjoyed. Also, I had been talking about a potential series on my channel last summer in which I would take a question like, how did you become a reader? Or what book made you a reader? Or how do you choose your next read? How do you organize your bookshelves? You know, just questions that readers ask each other all the time and that we like, at least I like to know about other readers and just take every video and answer one of those questions. And I had asked for suggestions as far as the title goes for the series because y'all know I like a title that sounds good and is catchy and it also helps me organize my videos better with the way I, I do everything. So I'm gonna call that series the Reader Revealed series. If you're a fellow creator, please feel free to join in on these videos. I think it would be really cool to see everyone answer these questions. Um, but I will definitely be getting that series started here soon. And of course you can look forward to, of course the air just kicked on. I will be right back. Okay, we're gonna continue, but it should shut off here shortly, uh, the air, anyway. so. Uh, the Reader Revealed series, I'm hoping to get back to those, or get back to those, start those, but I will also be doing my usual radar reads, wrap-ups, that kind of thing. And another thing as far as wrap-ups go, I have so many books that I didn't wrap up last year. Let me know if you guys want me to wrap those up, but some of them I literally read like last July. I don't think I've wrapped books up since last year's, um, big readathon. Oh my gosh, I can't even think of the name right now. The Reading Rush. Uh, I haven't, I haven't wrapped up since then. So I don't know that I would have a whole lot to say, but maybe we could do like a quick fire kind of thing. Just my general ideas, like I really enjoyed this, I didn't like it, etc. Just let me know what you would like to see. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions for other videos that you would like to see me do, if there's any tags going around, once again, out of the loop, if there's a tag that you really think I should do or would be a great way to like just jump back into this thing, link them down below. Um, I would be more than happy to do those and just any video really that you would like to see from me. Um, you'll probably be seeing book organization videos because this is a disaster back here and I still have an Ikea bookshelf that's in the box and not at all a bookshelf at the moment that needs to be addressed. So I will be doing those videos as well. But if you guys have any suggestions or things you'd like to see, please let me know. I love your guys' feedback. There it goes. The air is quiet now. Um, but really, mostly what I wanted to say is I have missed everyone so, so much. I've missed my fellow creators and all of the subscribers and your comments and everything. I, I'm so excited to get back into this. As nervous as I am, I know it's going to be okay. I just got to do it or it's only going to get worse. So here we are. We're doing it. Um, but I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy in this kind of scary time right now that we are experiencing, but you know, some time at home for us readers doesn't ever really go amiss, but um, I, I just, I really hope everyone's doing okay and hanging in there. Things are tough, but we're going to get through it and we're going to do it and we're going to be okay because that's what we do. Uh, but if you guys like this video, please like it. And if you loved it, subscribe. And if you're new here, I promise I'm not usually so much of a mess. 
I mean, sometimes it happens, but anyways, um, we will see you in my next video. Happy reading.